previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yeah. Choose wisely. I thought we did. But there were some unintended consequences, guys. Let's see what we can do about that. Those dead whales, though, might take that as a sign that we're not out of the woods as far as the apocalypse goes. And dudes, it's Thursday. The day is Friday. Episode 4, Dark Room. Wee! What happened? I gotta know. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way, not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. AKA See, the magic hour. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Uh... At least I'm alive here with you. Aww. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Mm, talk about accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Mm. Let's test the waters. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Hmm. It might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Weird. Not exactly the same person. Good and bad, I think. You know? Pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even Oh imagine. my god. 
But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, guys. I mean, is this, is this even worth it? Like, let's snoop a little bit, shall we? There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Jesus, guys, poor Chloe. I mean, l look at her. She's in a, a friggin' hospital bed, like... I'm having trouble... like... dealing with it. You know what I mean? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Aww. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Let's see. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO Megan. Who's Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Hope you are well, love, Max. Oh, man. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Guys, there's the hot dog. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Oh, boy, Max. Be careful with that. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. There's the hot dog again. I guess we should stop snooping this and get her some water, huh? Heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and Think about her childhood. She can't even feel the grass now. Uh, You're really my only friends who kept in touch. I, mean, I should have kept more in touch. That's so sad. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Yep. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, 
I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Hmm. What do you remember? What do you remember about us? Get some as kids? information. We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Oh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Hmm. You have me would be the kind of romantic thing to say. But I want more information. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Hmm. Are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Man. I feel so bad, though. Like, Max, you, you gotta fix this. This is not how it's supposed to be. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Jesus. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Hmm. Nothing but medical supplies. 
She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Bingo. Oh, Yahtzee! DVD. What else is in the drawer, though? Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Aww. Now we have a movie night. That was telling, wasn't it? Huh. Oh, did they both fall asleep? Oh, man. So many feels right now. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who sent us a text? Oh, geez. We missed all these. Let's see. Hey, Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Hmm. Okay. Yo, yo, Max, you around? 
in the dark room developing shots for the contest. Rachel in the dark room. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. See how everything's flipped? Remember how she kept saying, no emoji, no emoji. Look, there's an emoji. Same person, but not. Man. Wait, what? What the heck is going on here? Is there something wacky going on with my game save here? No. Hmm. Well, that progress is still there. Page one of one. Okay, this this must have to do with what's happening. So, <laughs> her journal is really different. Huh. Are we, like, starting over? Weird. Let's snoop. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Huh. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Oh my god, almost nine grand. Holy shit. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Did they finally go to Paris? These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Hmm. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Hmm. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. So, why doesn't that change, though? To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yeah, for reals. Hmm. 
The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. That's a lot of dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. Yeah, in case you missed the dead whales. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. Man, it's heavy, dudes. I think we should look around some more. I definitely have to take a third job. We're gonna snoop. Snoopy Snoopersons. Choices of food coupon boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. I like the attention to little details. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover like how this. different the kitchen is. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Oh, man. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Are you freaking kidding me? Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Yeah, this kind of stuff has a way of doing that to you. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Is it? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Yeah. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. I thought she'd be, like, upset Look that I walked in. <laughs> they have no idea what's in their future. Man. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Mm. 
William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. I'll talk to Joyce in a minute here. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her fans. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh no. Guys, oh no. Oh, guys. It's worse than we thought. As if it wasn't bad. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Do you know what I'm saying? Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I... Lucky to have him. Mm. X. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <sighs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Hmm. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. Yeah, we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I better get back to Chloe now. 
It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Max. You gotta fix this, Max. It ain't right, and you know it. Oh. This didn't even do anything with the room. It's just... It's just empty. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Or not. I guess we stopped growing up together. Time for some feels. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Max. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. It's not right, Max. We gotta undo it, Max. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? I never heard much about William's brother. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Guys, I can't take this. It's way too sad. Like... There has got to be a way to undo this. As fucked up as it was, it was better the way it was. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Seeing that room empty like that. Oh my god. I was worried there for a sec because I wanna I wanna talk to William. I should have talked to him before I went upstairs. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Oh my god. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Mm. Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. 
and be your father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Man. Let's just ask him. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Mm. Let's start with the crazy weather. Moving slowly. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I think I need to ask more questions about the Prescotts. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... Lose her someday. Oh, man. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, uh, see? She's thinking what I'm thinking. This can't stay this way. It can't. And I mean, if you told William, if you asked him, wouldn't he sacrifice himself so that she didn't have to go through this? I think he would. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever.
Well, let's look in the drawers. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Huh. Great, so also because of her accident, this happened. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Mm. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Man. Grab that photo album over there and let's have a flashback. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, man. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, maybe I could. Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will, too. This isn't how I want things to end. Uh-oh. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that Oh, God. Way. Is she going to ask me to do what I think? I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Oh, God. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, my God. This is insane. Oh, boy. Oh, let's go with I don't know. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who w wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. <sighs> I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. 
When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh my god, guys. I... <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what to do. Just okay. All right, Chloe. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Oh my god. Max, this is some bullshit. We'll have a moment here, guys. That was, uh, that was heavy. Really heavy. But I mean, she. She was going to die anyway. The only thing left that we can. That we can do is to try to fix this. I don't think it's the right choice. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. I am never leaving you again.
Something's not right here. Something's not right. Because I couldn't get up then either. Okay, let's make let's make the same choices. Oh, I can't listen to that again. No. That's what we want. I really didn't want to rewind and refuse. I just thought that I had to. Okay. Okay, guys. We did what we needed to do. Let's undo this fucking bullshit right now. I'm sorry, William. Yeah, but you know that he'd be okay with it, Max. You know he would be okay with it. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. And she burned the picture so that it can't be undone. Wow. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh, all the feels, guys. All the feels. I can't handle this anymore. Yeah, fuck that horrible shit. Not worth it. Hmm, but there are some things that are different. Because that wasn't there before. That was not there before. Interesting. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. 
Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Yeah, um, about that. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Huh. Oh. Gotta take a minute I don't think here. You can ever tell Chloe about what happened. No, I don't think you can. How would you explain that shit? And she might be mad at you for letting her dad die, no matter what you say. Hmm. Man. It is interesting, though. The uh, little mural they drew ends up in her room, and I wonder what other little things are different. It's got to signal something is different. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. I'm getting lost in all this shit. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah. That's my Chloe. Hmm. <sighs> This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Now this is interesting, guys. Pay attention to the end of this article. So the Prescotts are still making money in spite of everything. That's not such a stretch, but they're behind an exclusive, expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Hmm. You guys have all seen in the movies what happens when you fuck around with Native American shit. 
Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. I'm just saying. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I feel like we're missing a major clue. Yes, point. Chloe Price was here. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. It's okay, Max. I think you would have been okay with it. To be honest. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Hmm. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Good question. Let's take a photo. Let's see it. Everything back the way it was now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um... Dear Diary, let's never do the time warp again. Yeah, no shit. That was ridiculous. I was so happy I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. That's the thing about messing with time. Jeez, that achievement scared the crap out of me. For crying out loud. <sighs> she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. Yeah. We strolled down the beach and saw the beach whales that proved something bad was happening in both realities. Yes, exactly. That is what I have been saying. Dang. Heavy. 
I knew it was time to go max to the future. Exactly. I had seen the result of my temporal tampering. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of text messages. Let's start at the bottom. Warren G. The B minus, it burns. <laughs> I like him. He's sweet. I hope you can still visit me this week. Okay. Miss you and my bunny. Your bunny misses you too. Exo Maxo. <laughs> For what? He's like, huh? <laughs> uh. You mean a van down by the river? <laughs> hmm. Well, okay then. Let's go down and check out David Douche's garage again. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. What? Dude. He knows something, I am telling you. Why would he say, don't you wander off into the dark? What the fuck? Scared me. See, Warren's a good guy. D. 
Did you now? Hmm. Let's see what's up on the TV. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Ouch. Yeah. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. The end is near. Let's see. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Dying birds and now a half a dozen beach whales. Apparently including NASA. Huh. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? I don't know. That other timeline seemed like some bullshit to me. So, this may suck, but I sure as hell wouldn't want that. William never finished painting that wall. Bummer. Dead birds everywhere. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Man. Before we go in the garage. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like David already booked a room. Hmm. What else we got going on? David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. And I just don't think what's going on with him is what we think it is. Yep. Locked from the other side. We'll go this way. fucking lighthouse again. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that walker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Those binders could be in there. Um, was it 7171? Shit. Oops. Bingo, bango. Those fucking binders in there. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Hmm. 
Twin Peaks. Twilight Zone. <laughs> Hmm. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yeah, in a minute. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Let's put the plank back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Okay. Two photos down. Let's see if there's anything else around. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hmm. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, wait, there was more. Should I have signed the Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. <laughs> Libtard metrosexuals. Oh boy. From Anonymous. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Hmm. Huh. David's on to the fact that something is wrong. For sure. And just because he didn't go about it the right way, uh, doesn't mean that he wasn't right. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Hmm. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Uh-oh. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Shit. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel, plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing.
This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. Hmm. I'm sorry. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Aww. I did the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Okay, well, let's try to finish this part. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. No. Not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah, exactly. That's something we picked up right away. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Is 
If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. And I bet you ten to one. If you don't show them any kindness early on, those things don't happen. How much you guys want to bet? It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Max, I don't think that's all that's going on, to be totally fair. Hot dog. It is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Mm. Let's go with door number one, Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. Good for you. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. Yeah. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Mm, let's go with she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Yep. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Let's ask her about Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. Yeah. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescott. Foreshadowing. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Yeah. Let's ask her how she's doing. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Mm. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Aww. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to call it. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. 
I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Yes, let's do. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. There's those totems again. Hey, Max. How are you a doing? real bad oh, feeling about the Prescott. Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. Haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Okay, guys, well, I think that's where we're going to call it for now. Um, let's get out to the main menu here. Boy, that was crazy, guys, with that alternate timeline shit. It was deep. Hit me like a ton of bricks, I tell you what. Well, that's going to do it for today's After Work Unwind. This has been Life is Strange. I am loving this, guys. But I'm really starting to get nervous about what's happening. So what, what was our big takeaway tonight? I think our big takeaway tonight is that it's not just that the Prescotts are dicks. I think the Prescotts are into something weird. And we keep seeing those totem poles... And we got this weird end of the world shit happening. We got people disappearing. I'm starting to think those binders belong to Nathan Prescott or maybe his dad. Right? And this, this idea that's being introduced about the Prescotts and evil. And, uh, you know, how they're building their pan estates on Native American land. Some weirdness, guys, I'm telling you. I think the Prescotts have something to do with the coming apocalypse. I think they're into some serious shit. And I think that the Prescotts are the reason for the disappearances. Those other girls, Rachel Amber. I think Kate's next on the list. You know what I mean? Some serious shit. And we're on day four, Thursday. Shit's gonna hit the fan on day five. We're getting close, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 
Well, there we go. That's it. That's the theory. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be playing Destiny 2 tomorrow.